Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we have a very interesting build for Kaisa. Before we get into that though, let's go over her star powers. So up first, round start grants your strongest ally a random positive keyword. This is helpful because we're trying to trigger evolve, which is having six different unique keywords on your allies. We also have Void Touched, plus one starting mana. Allies with three or more positive keywords have two, two. So some nice stats for our units that are able to get multiple keywords. Now for the relic build we're going with, we're going with Spirit of the Buru. So it's a power. Allies that cost one or less have Overwhelm, Quick Attack, and Fury. So this won't be able to hit all of our units, but any of our units that are one cost or less are going to get those three keywords. That is going to get us very close to our Evolve but it's also going to give them that 2-2 from our second star power. And we're actually going to pair this with Pact Powder and the Scourge of Stash. So both of these have the effect of Plunder I cost 2 less, so that can drop Kaisa down to a 1 cost so she can benefit from Spirit of the Buru. And then the Pact Powder also has that 1-1 one, one for each different round you've damaged the enemy Nexus. We're not really playing it for that scaling, but it's just going to be a really nice bonus. This will be quite an interesting build. If we can get Kaisa on the board early for that one cost and trigger that spirit of the buru that's going to be very powerful but if we're not able to get any one costs on the board or we're not able to trigger that plunder then this is going to be quite rough i don't think this build is going to be very consistent but i think when we're able to actually trigger it like we want it's going to be very powerful now if you appreciate this daily path of champions content definitely like and subscribe also we've started streaming over at twitch there'll be a link to that down below Right now we're streaming every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, so definitely come check that out if you want to hang out and see some live Path of Champions. All right, let's get into it. First power, let's see what we get. Rush them down, we summon an ally, give it 1-1, raiding party, and higher education. These are all fine, but we want to get something a little bit better. All right, I think we'll get the new student. Uh, this is a one cost, so getting this at the start of the game, this is immediately going to have those three keywords, which means it's also then going to get those extra stats. Uh, so this will be quite helpful, really plays into the strategy we're trying to go with. All right, Tom Kench with Unstable Inventory. All right, this looks okay, but let's actually get rid of the Void Blaster and the Void Seeker. We'd like one of our other one costs. Although starting the game with that one cost is going to be very nice because they'll be able to just attack and try to immediately trigger our plunder. And punch. All right, let's use one of these. Try to give this even more keywords. Spell shield, perfect. We're saving one mana for our Kaisa. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. All right, excellent. If I kill you, I don't fortune. All right, let's again. We're gonna put a keyword over here. Uh, fearsome. Do we already have that? Doesn't look like it. Uh, we also don't have challenger. Their every move just makes me stronger all right very nice uh let's go for that exhaust again we know how to prepare so already we have our evolve so we're gonna pop the second skin right here giving kaisa all those keywords all right I'm gg getting that the uh, sparring student is very helpful for us all right these two are both a bit too expensive i think we'll just go for the waking sands yeah the fact that we got that sparring student is such a big help. I think we'll go here. Since that Akshan will be one cost, he'll hopefully trigger the uh, Relic. Now the Relic is still a little inconsistent sometimes where 
some units when they get discounted don't actually trigger it that's why i'm not 100 percent sure that everything is going to be able to activate from the power even if they cost one or less but yeah we'll go here this seems like it'll be okay smooth soloist solitary monk or healer yeah we can go for the smooth soloist try to get a really good power so poppy with unyielding determination all right let's get rid of this we have one of our one costs that's amazing yeah the fact that we got sparring suited is really one of the best powers for this build all right this is brash another unique keyword uh sure let's just get rid of their one blocker So we will just open attack. We want to get that plunder off so we can play our Kaisa. And sure, we can play this as well. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. So at this point, we're just trying to set up to win with our next attack. Their every move just makes me stronger. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and Gotta hit them hard. grant this that spell shield. We're not putting that on Kaisa because she's just going to try to take the keywords from this anyways or copy them. Let's do our payday first. Try to give this any other keywords that we can see. Uh, it already has spell shields. So we'll just go for the lucky find. Alright, let's give that vulnerable. Drag it over here so it's not in the way. Yeah, they have that unyielding, which isn't great. So we won't be able to end this round, but we'll still do pretty well. just drop this here not too bad and we'll attack and end the game I will do what I can I'm coming for you this is the job GG I think we'll just grab the Ruthless Raider. It has two keywords. We could just get this one more. It would be a pretty aggressive unit. Also, I don't know if Ephemeral counts as another keyword or not, but that might be the third keyword right there. So it'd be very aggressive. Give us a lot of damage in its one attack. All right, these are a two cost, so not as good. Feeling Strike would be okay. We do have some decent single target spells such as like payday or even the uh, second skin and supercharge none of this is particularly that good though i'd really like to get the lurk here let's try a reroll oh these are both one costs all right that's amazing all right caitlin with unstable inventory all right we're going to be very powerful now Rerolling all of these, trying to get our Kaisa and then any other one costs. We do not have the attack tokens, that is a little sad. Alright, perfect. He's also triggering that.
All right, so there's over half their health. And we got our Kaisa on the board. Wonderful. We have something the Void will never understand. Me. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. All right, do we want to keep the Warlord's Palace? Uh, I think let's just play this here. What despite the do their work? Why? Why do they have so many legs? Uh, that's not great. Let's try to get the keywords from that unit. Okay, didn't know if they were going to try to kill it. Suspicious activity ah, that is annoying. If I can save a life, I must. Cool, I bet. Did you like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Turning yourself in? Alright, still GG. Alright, sure, that ephemeral, that's fine. We're trying to be very aggressive and end very quickly, so even though some of these units are <laughs> ephemeral, it's still okay. Alright, cut a card or get a power. I think we'll try to get another power, although cutting cards wouldn't be wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's be a little greedy. Oh, we're ten away. Oh, it's so sad. That's very unfortunate. All right, let's get that one item. I was hoping we were going to get the Lurk, and the Lurk one is 300, I believe. So we would have been fine. Oh, that's so sad. I really hope we get that. All right, Sejuani with unstable inventory. All right, this is actually pretty good. Let's hold on to these. And we start with the attack token. That's also really big. All right, this has impact. I think I'd rather have this. Drop our auction. And do any of these have keywords? I guess this one has brash. Alright, we'll just pass. Actually, I'd want to use the second skin, but. They have some slow frostbites, so we should just open attack. And GG. Ah! Alright, rally banner is not bad, but again, we don't really want our champion to die. Barrier can be decent, but then you have the issue that that's just temporary for the round. Tough would probably be the best. I think we'll grab Barrier just in case we get like a Quick Strike Blade or Trifarian Mark. Because if we get this first, then it'll activate before the other one. So we could potentially be a little bit more aggressive, but Tough would probably be the more consistent, better choice here. Alright, power. Can we get evolution? No, but domination is very good. Alright, champion item chest. So, Jin with level up. Let's re-roll all three of these. We want our one drops, including both of our champions. This is actually very nice that we have the attack token. 
every single round. Alright, so that's going to be a little bit rough. I think let's try to buff up one of these. Huh, tough, alright. Because Draven will probably block over here. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Now we're cooking. Also, yeah, they have the attack token, which isn't great. I think we'll just take the hit and <laughs> hope we get uh, life steal. I can almost take the void. I know what they are. I know how to destroy them. Do we already have fearsome? No, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get rid of their Draven and then try. potentially just attack and end the game. Try to keep up. GG. There's no way to hide. This is just going to be too slow. And this one's going to be very expensive. I guess we'll go here. But none of those are really that great for us. Uh, elusive, that's going to be pretty nice. So Zoe with level up. Let's again get rid of all three of these. Let's just attack to get our Flender effect off. Then we drop our Kaisa. Also, the fact that we can attack every round is amazing. I know what they are. For triggering our Flender. Because that way we're consistently getting those Blunder hits in for our packed powder. Hey, you brought back my star. Hmm. I think we can go ahead and grab this. I'm learning. Just really getting that augment. The ruthless raider will give us a lot of extra. Back in your hole. Oh, you're in for it. This will give us a lot of extra damage. And GG. Our board is normally a little bit too full for this. I guess we'll go here and we'll probably just end up cutting it. Alright, shop. Creative cards cost one less. We're not really creating many cards. Like the ones we are, are already going to be costing nothing. So I don't think that's worthwhile. Let's try a reroll. Again, we're not really having that many units die, but we'll probably grab that. Getting the Iceborne Gauntlet on a Ephemeral is not great, but it could actually really help us just finish off in one attack. So yeah, we will actually end up grabbing that. Alright, Citrus Courier, Item Chest, I think we'll just go here. So Fizz with Power Overwhelming. Right, let's still get rid of all of these. We want our one costs. I 
do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Gimme, gimme! So yeah, we can let Fizz attack here. That's not really that big of an issue. Because we are going to attack back way harder. Alright, we're just going to open attack. GG. So this would be another one cost. We don't really want more copies of Akshan, even though we like playing him, because we want to draw our Kaisa at the start of the game. This would reduce our odds of that. I guess we'll go here, it's another one cost. Uh, sure, we can buff this up, because the stats actually will go with that Poro Fluff, so it's not too bad. Let's cut this one. All right, Draven with perfected mana flow. All right, Hive Herald, let's get rid of these three. We can keep the Void Seeker. We could actually play this first, potentially, to get our Kai'Sa. The one issue with that is we'd have to pass. We will risk it. All right. Worth it to try to get our opening attack with our Kaisa. So this one, oh, you're in for it. I what guess let's go myself? here. We want to keep that lifesteal so our Kaisa can uh, copy it. There's still time. It has to be. We have something the Void will never understand. Me. Suits a quick study. Scores to settle, cooks to kill. You know how it is. Alright, let's get Draven lower. Try to keep up. There's no way to hide. Alright, GG. Alright, quick strike blade. We'll go ahead and grab this. Spell Shield and Tough are both pretty good, but we have that barrier, so we should be fine. Unlike that she will die from the free attack. Spells cost one less. Officer backup, two costs. It does have that elusive. We do have some spells, so that wouldn't be terrible. I think I want something better, though. Let's try a reroll. When you summon a one cost, grant it 2-2. Two, two. That's not bad. The saplings would also get all those keywords, but I think we'll just double down on the Yips Genius, making our one costs crazy. All right, let's again try to be greedy and go and get some more epic powers, but just cutting cards would be a very good choice as well. Lulu with duplicate. All right, let's get rid of all three of these. We really just need our one drops. And punch. Do we want to wait for our auction? Would be more damage, so sure. We have something the void will never understand. 
This is the card. No, we cut the other one. Never mind. Um, sure, I guess. None of those are really that great for us. Double Yips Genius. Sounds good. And I don't think we'll bother with anything here. Although this is a one cost. And that's a one cost. I mean, filling our hand with more one cost isn't bad, actually. So sure, let's just get as many one costs as we can since they're going to be so ridiculously strong. All right, Katarina with duplicate. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Let's go for the Void Seeker. That's not too bad. Help us get our plunder off. And Tridimir with level up. Uh, just imagine if I had enough gold to also get that uh, evolution. Oh, it would have been so ridiculous. 10 gold away. So sad. I really wish you could go in debt like you can in League to buy some stuff from the shops. Pot on the trail. All right, I guess let's just attack like this, doing as much damage as we can. Manners. Oh, right. Scoping the area. Go on, shake my hand. There's still time. We head to base. I know what they are. I know how to destroy them. I'm coming for you. All right. <laughs> GG. Uh, I think let's just go for the payday. All right. Aurelian Soul with power overwhelming. All right. This looks like a pretty much perfect opening hand as long as we draw our Kaisa. There we go. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Oh, they have no blockers. That is very bad for them. I can almost taste the, the void. We have something the Void will never understand. Me. There's nowhere to hide. All right, GG. Ah! OTK with Kaisa. All right, that was pretty crazy. That was probably my fastest Kaisa time ever. Uh, this build is definitely very good as long as you get lucky. I don't want you to watch that video and think, oh, this is what you're going to get every time you play it. This build, you really just have to go 100% towards your one cost units. And we got double Yips Genius to make our one cost even better. Round start rallies, we'd attack every single round. And then we started the game with three one costs and the armed gearheads having two keywords on them. This was a pretty ridiculous game. We got very lucky for the build we were trying to go with. So this build, incredibly powerful, but you do have to get a little bit lucky for this to actually go well because you could very well have games where you go in with this build and you struggle to get your plunder effect off so you can't play Kaisa for a one cost and then you don't draw any of your other one costs and you might have games where you get almost no benefit out of this build. But 
if you get lucky like i did that last game then this build will be absolutely amazing for you all right i hope you enjoyed that video if you did definitely like and subscribe definitely come by and check out our twitch streams would love to have you and i hope you all have a great day